Hi everyone, welcome back to Kim Help ASAP. In this video, I'm gonna walk you through how I determine my sig figs when calculating percent yields. Now that we have done our calculations, let me show you how I determine sig figs. The nice thing about percent yield is it's just multiplication division. So with multiplication division, again, I am looking for the number with the fewest number of sig figs. Well, my 0.88 moles of sulfur dioxide, that has two sig figs. My 1.0 moles of sulfur dioxide also has two sig figs. Now I need to be careful with my 1.0 moles of sulfur dioxide. That's a number I actually calculated. But as I did in a previous video, this should have two sig figs. So I know my sig figs are correct. Okay, therefore my percent yield should have two sig figs and there it does with 88%. This is how I did sig figs for the gram to gram stoichiometry. Again, I'm just doing multiplication division, so I'm counting up total number of sig figs. My 26.89 was given to me in the problem that has four sig figs. My 33.336 has five sig figs. Again, I calculated that previously and I went over sig figs for that. So it is going to be my 26.89, my four sig figs, that is going to limit my calculation. So you can see here my percent yield does have four sig figs. You can see the hard work was mostly already done when we calculated our sig figs for our stoichiometry. However, we still have to carry them all the way through to the end of all of our calculations. I hope you found this video helpful and thanks so much for watching.